Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Uh, let's play some more Stellaris, where we are going to war once again. Not quite being as peaceful as I'd intended when I started this whole series off, but uh, my hand is forced by the fact that they've mucked up my borders and stolen some of my worlds and I just want them back, kind of thing. So we are going to be invading the Atraxi Consensus. If we can convince our allies to let us, this is always a problem when you're in an alliance, you have to hope that they're actually going to let you do it. So we need to make sure that the Confederacy of Takin Yar will actually vote yes for this. But there's not much else I can offer to try and swing it around. I just want these people to succumb to me and give me their planet. There's nothing else I can really offer. So I'm just going to suggest, I'm just going to confirm this. It does say that my allies will say yes. We hope that will be actually be the case. So we're going to submit that. Okay, that was actually enough, yeah. Our allies are just like, yeah, sure, go for it, dude. Have fun. Okay, right, well, we're already in combat, because our fleet is right here, and their fleet is right there. So, just go wreck stuff. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, this won't be much of a Hostile fight. We... Fleet engaged. Yeah. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. Station under attack? Really? Okay. Uh, we've, we're wiping the, these guys out. They've only got a few corvettes, and they are massively weaker than ours. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, chill. Uh, do we take? Do we didn't take? Oh no, that was our spaceport. Yeah, okay. I guess they were attacking our spaceport, but our spaceport didn't take any damage. All right, that fleet just to go take out their spaceport now. Oh no, you're engaging everything. Fine. Just, just kill all the things. That spaceport's going to go down. We're also targeting their science ship, which has fled. Station under attack. Situation log updated. Uh, oh, what's happening? Oh, they do have more ships. They've got... Uh, what are you? A construction ship is engaging our defense platform. Situation log updated. Yeah, that didn't end well for them, did it? Okay. Uh, the Netraxi consensus of victory. We appear to have underestimated your net value, humans. Rest assured, it will not happen again. This is the best possible outcome. Uh, that was, okay, that was it. That was the war. We won. We wiped out their fleets, destroyed everything they had, and they just gave in and surrendered their plan to us. Okay. Well, let's have a look at our new world. So, these guys just came out of the Industrial Age and the Early Space Age to become an interstellar power, and we kind of destroy them quite quickly. They haven't really had a chance to do anything with their planet. Uh, but they're not too unhappy with us, actually. Yeah, only just a little bit annoyed that they are recently conquered. So I guess that's good. And some of their stuff... Well, they actually got power plant ones. Oh, this is in a sector, so I can't actually manage this stuff directly. That means our borders have been reset properly. There we go. Excellent. Now everything looks neat and tidy. That war took less than two minutes. Uh, we're missing something to function over here. What are we missing? Yeah, there's no population working in that building. I know that. That was kind of the intent. And we're doing that, and we're waiting for a population there. That's fine. You know, just keep doing your stuff. Ah. Oh yeah, our vassals were already sending ships to us. Is that a giant spaceship exploding? Oh dear, that's quite a cool graphical bug there. <laughs> oh well, there we go. Okay, yeah, we've got inactive buildings on Congo, that's fine. Right, you guys have won your war. I guess you can just come home now. Um, I kind of do want to keep you on this border, though. Because um, the Safid Empire, not our best friends. So, let's actually just station you above Paragima. And you can just uh, stay in orbit there. Yeah, our vassals are trying to bring in all their f fleets to help us, but unfortunately... We already won the war. It's over, my friends. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn off the mineral riches tag there. Not too worried about that right now. So other than that, we're doing pretty well. We could start designing some new ships. We have unlocked cruisers, and we haven't actually built any yet. We've also got antimatter reactors, so we can possibly start increasing the firepower of some of our ships. Uh, or actually, well, increasing the defenses primarily, I guess. So with the current designs we've got, we don't have any... Yeah, we don't have anything better for lasers. But we could start moving towards something like... Red Shard Throws. They're more energy intensive. 
than our lasers, but they also do more damage, and with the new reactors, we could probably manage that, actually. They also have 50% armor penetration, which is exactly the same as our blue lasers. I think that might be worthwhile. We'll get more damage out of it. So let's see, if I switch, switch over all of those, our current designs will be negative 15 on power. But with our new level 4 antimatter reactors, that's, that's not that's not enough to actually do it. I guess they're only giving us an extra 5, aren't they? Yeah, 20 to 25. And we have these small improved deflectors. Well, I could switch out one of the one of those for a blue laser. That would probably do it. There we go. That actually works. So, two small shard throwers and a small blue laser would give us 6.27 damage. Which is, yeah, that's a pretty good increase from 5.9. And a small increase on maintenance. I'm actually going to do that. So we want to change two of those for shard throwers. And then give them the new reactors. There we go, we'll save that as the new design. Done. Alright, let's have a look at our destroyers next. So we've got the Gatto class destroyer with a large blue laser and two small blue lasers. Now the interesting thing here is with the new antimatter reactors, rather than changing the weapons loadout, we can probably increase the defences because we had to fit in some small deflectors rather than the improved deflectors. So that actually gives me a lot of spare power there. And if I change all these over... Okay, we've still got 15 spare power, but we've increased our shields to... Well, we've increased our shields by quite a lot. So what else could we do? Oh, we've also got plasma thrusters. Did I not give you guys plasma thrusters? Okay, that's my bad. And better sensors. Okay, yeah, we've actually got a bunch of upgrades we can do to these ships. Now, do you want to change anything for the weaponry? Because I could try and fit on a large shard thrower. Does have shorter range. Actually, no, it has longer range. Damn, better damage and longer range. It just requires more power. Yeah, we haven't actually got the power to fit that. Unless I change one of the shields. Yeah, we're negative 10 on power. So I could trade off a bit. Not enough to do it properly. Interesting. I wonder if we can put anything else on there. Because we have just been using lasers this whole time. And we do have some other weapons. We could put fusion missiles on. Very long range. That would leave us a bit of extra power. Or we could put a large disruptor on. 100% shield damage. So we'd have armor penetration and shield damage. That would actually be pretty handy. And that works perfectly with our power setup. Okay, yeah, we're going to split some of our damage now. So we'll do extra shield damage and some armor penetration damage. So you're a bit of a ship of all trades. But you've already got the improved plasma thrusters and the better sensors. So yeah, let's save that. Go back to our Corvette design. Yeah, you need the better engines and the better sensors as well. Uh, which doesn't give us enough power, damn. I guess I could get rid of the armor. It's not going to matter too much on our Corvettes going forward. And just put an extra reactor in. It only gives us two armor, so we're not actually losing that much. And I need five power, so a small fission reactor would be more than enough. And of course, with the improved thrusters, we are getting um, extra speed and extra evasion. So I think that's pretty worthwhile. In fact, with that extra power, could I change out that blue laser for a small disruptor? Because that would give us the armor penetration of the small shard throwers. And then the shield penetration of the disruptor. Maybe that's our new tactic going forward. Let's see how it works out for us. Okay, the Gato PD class. I le I'll, pretty much, I'll leave you as you are. You're just all point defense guns. So the idea is you can shoot down missiles for us, but we will upgrade this 
So you've already got that, and you've already got that. Okay, no, you actually you're all fully upgraded. The only thing I haven't done is given you better reactors. So if I give you better reactors, can I fit more improved deflectors on? There we go. An extra deflector, so you've got 300 shields. Okay, let's save that. And now we can also design our first cruiser, a Klosterman class cruiser. So this ship has three sections to it. Uh, screen breaker, punisher core, and protector bulwark are the current ones. Hmm, if we say auto-complete the design, what does that give us? 641 mineral costs take 240 days to complete and cost 3.2 maintenance. 1200 hull points, that's a lot. If we look at one of our destroyers, that's almost double. Seven hundred shields, that's a lot. Just wondering what weapons we want to put on this thing. Because obviously small weapons are better at target targeting smaller ships. But large weapons generally do more damage. So that's not bad. A couple of smalls, some mediums, and a couple and a large. Maybe trade out that protector bulwark for a guardian bulwark and put in a couple of, uh, yeah, put in a couple more smalls. Possibly even some point defense if it'll let us. Yeah, so we've got two point defense on the ship, and then we've got some heavier weapons up front. Uh, for example, some blue lasers would go quite nicely. Maybe a large destructor. Whoa, okay, I'm way out on power. That's fine, I haven't actually got any power on this ship at the moment. Interesting. We'll have to do something about that. Okay, without losing any shields, what else could I fit on here? I could probably change this around a bit. I mean, if I just went blue lasers, that would fit, but I'd like to have a bit more variety on here. Possibly some disruptors. So if we say, if we look at the medium blue laser, that requires 10 and that's 15. I can't quite fit that unless I get rid of a shield. I'd rather not do. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a medium missile on here. Just to give our fleets some true flexibility. So we'd have some missiles, lots of blue lasers, and point defense. That could work nicely alongside our destroyers. Okay, let's try that. Save that. Um, and we're going to want to build a couple of you. So let's have a look at our spaceport above Earth. We can upgrade you to level 5, which is what we'll need to actually get um, more more cruisers being made. So that's 850 minerals and 180 days. That should be fine, though. That'll also give us another slot, which will be handy. Uh, now you are also... I guess we'll upgrade our core world spaceports now. That seems like a good thing to do. Alright, let's unpause. And first fleet, I guess I want to upgrade you all to your new designs. So that will be 87 vessels will be upgraded for 1,862 minerals, which we can quite easily afford. So, yeah, I'll, I'd like to do that now. And we've had more difficulty with the Cundans. Well, not even the Cundans, the Poblins who want to go back to the Cundans, which is kind of annoying. I liberated them, and they're being really ungrateful. You now they are growing a new populace. Some of them are actually getting a bit happier now. And it does look like the AI is rebuilding stuff they're destroying, so that's not too bad. How are we actually doing? How more strength are they at? Currently 30%. Over a 3.4% chance to gain 10%. So they are slowly losing ground. That's fine. Got a construction ship without any orders. That probably means you've built stuff for me. You've headed back over there for some reason. Okay. Well, just go sit at home. I don't have anything for you to build right now, unfortunately. Uh, 
that system is useless. Wouldn't mind getting some more energy here. Or we could start colonizing down this way. But the problem is, we've already colonized quite a lot of worlds. System survey complete. Cool, more system surveys. And the problem, every time you do that, it bumps up the research, the uh, actual amount of science needed to complete this. So it slows down our research a lot. Well, I mean, we're still getting stuff done. But I guess I don't want to add to that right now. We don't really need any new worlds. Oh, our fleet's repaired. And they're finishing upgrading now, so... Let's see, they were, they were on 5051 with their previous loadouts. Let's see what they get once we actually Ships finish upgrading upgraded. these. Construction 5303, so we actually gained a fair bit there. 250 military power just for those upgrades. That's pretty cool. And looks like our spaceports are going to be finishing soon. That's handy. Construction on Zanzibar finished. Trade deal with the Confederacy of Takan Yar. That's okay. Construction complete. Okay, so you finished, you finished, you finished. Yeah, everyone's finished building stuff. Congo is still actually Congo's still got a lot of stuff to build. I guess I did give them a bunch of orders, didn't I? Can upgrade the planetary administration here. And actually we've got four hundred and forty six influence right now. We should probably be using that. Does anyone not have planetary capitals that I control directly? Uh, where's the actual capital? No, that's a power hub. Damn it, there we are. So you've got a planetary capital. And uh, you've already got a planetary capital, so I guess Congo could use one. And you've also got a bunch. Okay, I need to do some upgrades, apparently. So, engineering facility, we can upgrade to an engineer f engineering facility too for some more engineering research. Uh, we can upgrade a physics lab to a physics lab too. Congo, yeah, we'll upgrade that to a planetary capital. And on Soma, yeah, we'll upgrade that to a planetary capital as well. While I've got the influence, I might as well spend it. We are earning 4.85 at the moment, which is a pretty good income, to be honest. In fact, that income is so good, we might all, might want to start considering integrating the Glyran Empire. Because we are, we can integrate the Kundan systems, but we've got to wait a little while on that. Uh, how long do we need to wait for the uni unified Kundan systems? Uh, 2277, so we've still got five years before we can do that. Admittedly, it's going to take ten, uh, about 20 years to do the Glyran Empire, last time we checked. Let's see if that's changed with our recent conquests. Glyran Empire, they're still plus 15, so they do like us. Nope, that's actually gone up, 790 influence. I guess every time we expand our borders, it's increasing the influence cost. But considering we're bringing in 4.85, even at a rate of three per month, we'll still get it done and still making, be having an influence gain. Evading hostile fleet. Ooh, bad guys. What the hell? What have we got down here? A space amoeba. Wow, we haven't seen one of those in a while. Time for our fleet to go in and get shit done. System survey complete. Probably a good idea. We can have those guys nearby in case anything come anything else hostile appears. Construction complete. Okay, uh, that's our. See, we haven't actually done that. That construction that just finished on the spaceport in New Coventry, that wasn't us. That was, in fact, our sectors building their own stuff, which is pretty cool. And apparently there's more worlds I can colonize down here. I guess, I mean, if we wanted to do that, we could take the uh, Arctic world and add that to the sector. We don't have ocean colonization yet. It might not be the worst thing we could do. But again, it would bump up our 
research times. Ooh, subject integration begun. The Quelnadar Directorate has started integrating the Bavi regime. Hmm, okay. Construction complete. Albion finished some construction, that's fine. So we've got our spaceports upgraded. Actually, forgot to do anything about that. So I do have another module slot. Uh, ooh, and I kind of forgot about this, actually. We do have new modules we could build here. So ship upkeep modifier minus 20%. Or the engineering bay. Ship repair speed plus 25%, ship repair cost minus 25%, and ship upkeep minus 10%. So that basically saves us 20% on the ship upkeep. That gives us a bunch of modifiers to repairing them, and a little bit of ship upkeep modifier. Which I think I actually prefer. Although, also, crew quarters doesn't have a maintenance... Uh, there's no actual maintenance fee for it. The engineering bay will cost us one energy per month. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to build the engineering bay on Earth. And then the other ones will get the crew quarters. As they're essentially free once they're built. At least that's how I'm seeing it. Oh, looks like the Glyrian Empire is Construction engaging that space in me. Fair enough. And, oh, I've got more hostiles somewhere. Oh, no, I'm here, and the Glirans are here. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we have finished research on deep space stations. We can now build defense stations. These are the upgrade for the defense platforms. That's always going to be handy. And holy crap, we have a lot of stuff we can research here. Some of this we got in our last couple of wars. So we already have some good research towards it. For example, armor torpedoes. We already have 3605 out of 8802. That wouldn't be bad to finish off, actually. Yeah, work on that for me. And we shall watch this combat as our massive fleet engages these space amoeba. Uh, that was... Yeah, that was over pretty quickly. Did we take... We, yeah, we took some damage. One of our Mulder's Corvettes lost his shields. Well, good job, guys. Uh, in fact, you can just go home and repair now. Bye. You, you did what I needed you to do. We did take some damage. 22 amoeba weapon damage. Wow, I'm surprised that actually got through our shields. But okay, on that note, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you are enjoying this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you all later for the next one. Bye.